Hey guys, RPG Vadim here, KG5 IWQ, here with some really cool stuff here. Um, man, so online I've been seeing some videos about the 12,000 volt neon sign transformers. And as you can see, I have four of them in front of me. Not one, but four. Um, unfortunately, this black one, as of right now, doesn't work, so i got to figure out what's going on with it. The white one does. The two gray ones do, and I like the gray ones because they're not computerized, and I'll show what I mean by that later. Um, but I got three of them wired up, so I got 30, they're each 12,000 12, volts at 30 milliamps, um, which, I mean, I don't think that's enough to kill you. So, I think you're good there. Well, now there's three of them in line, so, shoot, I don't know, it might be able, might be some danger there. Um, but anyways, 36,000 volts, and... They're both, they're all insulators, they're all, uh, tar-filled. I don't like that, but, oh shoot, there's a bug. Um, they're all tar-filled, I don't like that, but whatever. That's what they gotta do, that's what they gotta do. I'd rather have it oil-insulated. Um, so, let's see what 36,000 volts does on a Jacob's Ladder. So yeah, that's uh, what it does. That's what 36,000 volts sounds like and looks like. Um, let me break it down for you. So what is a neon transformer? When you're on the streets and everything, you look up at neon. Well, neon is actually a high voltage um, arc. It's a controlled arc inside of a vac inside of a chamber. I think it has mercury in it. I can't remember if it's mercury or some kind of argon gas. But anyways, um, that's what it is. Probably a mercury vapor because it's conductive. Um, someone could probably give me some comments about that, but uh, anyways, they these are what this is what powers the neon, and these are for very very big signs. Uh, Twelve thousand volts, extremely excessive. Um, nowadays, they make little six thousand volts that are tiny, but they don't last for nothing if they're outside. They're just crap. Um, if you're in the field looking to get a neon transformer, these are the ones you want to go with right here. This is kind of a tutorial as well. Um, you want to try to get these standard, uh, neutral, live, uh, no computer board BS like these ones have. They're good, don't get me wrong, but they got problems, and I'll show what that is in a second. Um, so basically, you want to get these ones. These are very good, reliable, and they're going to work. Um, as long as you take care of them and keep them clean, they'll, they'll be fine. These are basically... Inside, you got your primary windings and your secondary windings. Your primary windings are 120 volts, which is what that is. Okay. Secondary winding is that big guy right there. That is, um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, 12,000 volts, 30 milliamps. Can't remember how many turns there are, though. There's quite a few turns for high voltage. Um, tar insulated, not oil insulated. Wish it was oil. But, uh, and then you get your your 120 transformer, or transforming into 12,000. Pretty simple how it works, not, not much to it, and there's no fail-safes in there. It's pretty much power. There's no circuit boards involved, really not much for water to get into. On these ones, on the other hand, uh, there is something to get into. We have what's called, all right, let's see. This is made by Lisip Sentry, neon transformer. This is all the information, 12,000 secondary, 12,000 primary, 120 volts, uh, 60 hertz, amp 3.0. So actually, yeah, this will this will kill you. 3.0 amps, man, that's, shoot. Short current milliamps, 30. Actually, maybe not, maybe 30s are running for neon. Um, Actually, yeah, the 3.0, I think, is, is uh, required amperage to operate, but its output is only about 30, or 3.0, uh, or darn, darn it, 0.3 milliamps, 30 milliamps, there we go, complies with, and now here's what I'm talking about, this is the bad stuff right here, complies with secondary ground fault, come on, focus in, darn you, 
All right, it complies with secondary ground fault protection requirements in UL Uniform Lima 2161 Outdoor Type 2 Lucid Corporation, blah, blah, blah. So let's work down and we'll, we'll figure out what that means. Hazardous voltage, warning signs, caution, this, that. LED diagnostics or diagnosis. Steady green, normal operation. Blinking green, service mode. Not too sure what blinking green is. Never had that. Steady red. Ground fault detected. Blinking red. Ground fault and transformer not properly grounded. Service button does not activate with proper grounding. Um, this is the service button right here. So basically if there's a fault detected, you push that button, and in theory it's supposed to reset the system. Here's the problem. Sun, heat, and water. You, once again, you're mixing... Uh, computer or electronics with high voltage and amperage. It doesn't work very well. Um, if it's raining outside and this thing gets into a little bit of water, it's going to rust. You're going to get a hole in there, and then the hole is going to allow water or whatever to go in. I don't care how much tar you put in there, you're going to get cracks, and your water's going to go in there, and it's just going to screw up everything. That's what happened to this one. This one works, because when I turn it on, it'll go, it'll go green. You know, it'll go red to show me that there's a fault. Um... This one works decent, but if you're going to do stuff like this, don't get this one, get these. Because they don't have any protection on them at all. Your GFI is what does all the protection for you. Um, unless you want to put your own circuit in there, but try to steer clear of these ones. They're hard to find because they're newer, and uh, on eBay you'll see more of these and you will these, but get these if possible. This is the Magnatec Jefferson. Let me tell you the story why I got four. Uh, four's a lot to have, definitely. There's a lot of voltage involved, and you think a lot of money. Well, what happened was, is I'm gonna, you know, I'll say it, and I don't care. Uh, we have a place here downtown called Yeya's Antiques. I think I brought them up before with the buzzer. I don't know. Um, but he's a really cool antique guy, and he sells a bunch of different stuff. He's got about 14 of these, 14 of these things laying around. Um, and I made him a deal. I said, okay, look. I really want to get these. The problem is, I don't have any way of testing them. And he said, look, I, I see you a lot. I know you pretty well. We've been talking to, other, to each other for a while. Um, he said, take them home. Tell me which ones work, which ones doesn't, which ones do not. And uh, we will. I'll, you can pick which one you want from there. I said, sure. So, um, and I think I'm also going to get a substation fuse tomorrow as well. So I'll do a review about that. But anyways, um, so, you know, I took them up on the offer, and I took all these home for today. And I decided to test which one's good, which is good, because this one doesn't work. And I need to tell them this one doesn't work, you know. And they're not really good for parts, because you got to melt the tar somehow without destroying the electronics inside. Have fun with that. Um, so, <clears throat> he has a bunch more that need, that need to be checked and serviced, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my best to hopefully assist in that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to return these two tomorrow. I'm going to take back. I don't need them. Uh, but man, I'm going to buy these. I think I'm going to get both of these. These are great. So, and what's cool about this guy is if, if you buy something from him and it like this and it doesn't work. What the heck was that? That was a really weird sound. Okay. Um, anyways. If you buy something like this and it's really weird um, and, and expensive and high voltage, he will re refund you the money or have you buy a new one or let you get a new one. So, cool. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to do a review or a video later on about the x-rays. The x-rays... Uh, man, that noise was creeping me the hell out. I don't know what that was. I'm do a review later on because he will generate x-rays and I'll use my thunder capacitor which is a salt water capacitor, and I'll do, I'll show you what that is later on. Pretty cool stuff. Um, like I said, if you're going to go on eBay and buy one, get these, not these, try to steer clear. So, alright guys, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you don't see 36,000 volts on YouTube with three neon transformers too much on YouTube. You have a go on KG5, IWQ, RG Vatom 73.